Out of all the Neopets out there, which one would be your fursona? Um, they're two. They're all two animal. What about the Gararo guy? That looks kind of like your like character. I'm only like one, maybe a two step. Yeah, you're only a two on the, the furry scale. scale. Maybe only a yeah. one. Wait, does well, it no, start at is, zero? One is nothing. Okay. One is nothing, and then like seven is full animal. I'm only like a, uh, I'm only like a two, like fuzzing into three. I, I'd say mine's probably a little further along than yours, but I think it's still probably a two, maybe a three at the absolute most. Yeah, like I, I see, I see a lot of artists on Tumblr, and I'm like, yo, that's cool art, and then they all happen to be furries. Yeah, like it takes a lot of restraint not to put a fucking like little goblin tail on my dude or like a uh, fucking tuft of chest hair because I'd be going too far. Don't be afraid. <laughs> Don't uh, be afraid. The fucking like back deer legs where the knees are backwards. What are those? Uh, being digitigrade. Yeah, cause walking, I, like you see a lot of like good goblin art feet. with like that shit. Like I don't I care don't about think that's very goblin. That's that's more kobold. I don't know. Like there's some good shit out there, but like I, I, I want think that goblins goblin fundamentally aesthetic. are still like humanoid shaped, but they have like weird features or yeah. odd things like the tails and big like her hairy ears. I don't know. Like the goblins I like best are more like the Brian Froud type, where they're a little more animalistic, a little more like fairy is. Like, they're not just, like, little dudes. They're, like, little, like... They're goblins. That's the only way you can really describe it. They're, like, inequivocally fey. Yeah. Where, where it's not quite, like, a fraggle. Where it's just, like, its own weird thing. But yeah. it's still, like, an animal. Fraggles are good goblins. Fraggles are cobbles. Well, yeah. If you go to, like... Uh, kobolds are goblinoids. Yeah. If you go too far into dog or lizard, that's when your goblin becomes a kobold. Yeah, it's like if you're in an area where like goblins wouldn't quite cut it, then you get you gotta add the kobold. If you're like near a dragon's lair, you're gonna need like lizard kobolds. If you're I don't know like deep deep in a mine with gnomes around, you're gonna have the dog ones. Personally, I'm a subscriber to like goblins not being a species, but more so like a philosophy, like how locusts and Can grasshoppers are like different things. Like, a locust is a grasshopper, like but a not all grasshoppers are locusts. I think we said this. It's like fish. There's no actual thing called a fish in evolution. Like, like no, all fish no, are no, barely no. related. Not even like that, because like a locust happens when a fucking grasshopper takes on certain like personality traits and it's not even just like grasshoppers but like certain types of uh whatever like grasshoppers and crickets whatever that order is so like it's your mindset that makes you a goblin you know yeah it's a thing that happens to a creature yeah like goblins are creatures but not all creatures are goblins but some creatures can turn into goblins. Like, literally anything could be a goblin if they, like, fucking start doing goblin-y ass shit. Like, gnomes and kobolds and, like, any type of fae or orc could become, like, a goblin. Yeah. Like, a true goblin mm. is, like, a, an, an elf turned goblin. Yeah. And it's like, uh, how S S Smeagol isn't a hobbit, even though he's a hobbit. Yeah, like, he he's technically a hobbit, but he's been so twisted by the ring in Mordor that he is hmm. no longer quite a hobbit. Yeah, like... He's a goblin. Yeah. But, like, I, I don't feel like goblins are even, like, a corruption or a transformation. It's just... I don't know, it's a personality thing. Individuals can act like goblins. Yeah, like... And are thus goblins. Yeah, like, if you're a goblin, you're a goblin. It's as simple as that. Like, goblin is a gender. Simple I think that. is a better way to put it. You identify as a goblin. Yeah. 
you take steps into looking more like a goblin, consciously. I mean, not even that. I think it's more of like a subconscious thing. Like gender. I think that's definitely the fairest yeah. way to put it in my mindset. That's probably a, a decent way of explaining that. You are not a goblin, but I, I am no. a goblin. No. I, I'm... I'm a dragon. That sounded so cringe. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, what's that about not it's being like, a furry? It's like, uh, it's like that clip of Germa. Where, where Chad asks what his, uh, Sona would be. He'd be a lion, not a rat. <laughs> I would be a wolf-lion hybrid mix. King of the jungle, jungle, but still social and with it and ferocious. We're not even a lion, a fucking lion wolf or whatever. I'll be a, a lion wolf hybrid. Yeah, that's what he said. It was, it was so funny. I didn't mean to feed you. Is that your dog or is it the turtle? That's my dog. Oh! Okay. I think I figured it. <laughs> I was wondering if that was what you were trying to do. Yeah. Wow, there's so much yeah. stuff up here. It's so big and empty. Guard. Like penguin crows. Yeah, they get stunned after one hit. Like, these guys suck in comparison to the other guys. Actually, they're more like penguin parrots. Yeah. I think it's more just so a crow bird, but then the second bird is generic. It's crow and then literally every other bird. Yeah. Because, like, they've got that parrot beak, like Iago from Aladdin. But then their body is, like, painted like a penguin and kind of shaped like a puffin. But they're crows? He's a crow. Sure. He's a Neopet. It's really cool that there's a jump button, but then also your character auto jumps if they hit a ledge. It's perfect. Yeah. You can't even backflip. Can I get up there? I, I can't jump tall enough for that. And then the camera's really good too. Ooh. Oh yeah. Eesh. Look at that. Oh, maybe you have to... No. Nah, I ain't pushing that. I can't. Yeah. Oh, st stop. <laughs> wow. Like, it wouldn't be so bad, but the camera is a physical object that gets stuck behind those, like, pillars. And then it just kind of moves on its own. I think you have to go around the other side. Not letting me... Why can't you move? Oh, because I there wasn't, like, go. on the actual, like, vine part yet. <laughs> Good game design. Good game. <laughs> Like, I couldn't move because I wasn't touching the vines, even though I grabbed the, uh, climbing spot. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. This game is ripe for, like, just destroying. <laughs> I'm surprised it's been as stable as it is. Honestly, I fucking love, like, janky games like this. I, I miss when games could be this janky, but still be good. It's like, it's so much fun. It's interesting. It has, like, a... I don't know. Like, when modern games lack polish, it's like a different type of lack of polish that's not fun in the slightest. Like, you know... Yeah, it's lack of polish that start in the design phase. Yeah, rather than like the uh, implementation. This is lack of polish. This is lack of polish because they they didn't have the like giant shoulders to stand on to know how to do the thing they wanted. Like they, they didn't ha have any Unity tutorials back in the day. They just had to figure that out. Uh, they had like the design, but they didn't have the programmers. Where most games like have the programmers, but not the design. Or when they do, their designers are way too over the head with their promises because they're, like, in bed with all the money guys. Yeah. Like, a game is... A game should be fun. It shouldn't be, like, profit. It shouldn't be... It doesn't have to be bigger than the last one every oh. single time. <laughs> it's a little slippy up there. 
See, like that. That's fun. That's good. I like that. You slipped on the blood <laughs> of the parrot. Uh, like that gave me a chuckle. <laughs> that that's silly jank. That was a bad jank. Is like yeah. cyberpunk on release. Yeah. Th this is good jank. This is like the game is just put together barely. It like, works. This is all they could do, and they didn't really have a release window. They had a vision, and they saw it through. However flawed the execution might have been. Like, nobody was fucking waiting for this. There was probably, like, zero fucking crunch time. They probably just did it in their fucking, like, whatever time they had. And then when it was done, it was done. And then they didn't ever look back. Which is awesome. Yeah, it was. they built forward. They didn't, like, revise anything. Revisions are for cowards. The only thing you should be fixing are, like, uh, game-breaking shit. That looks like... God. Ripe for secrets. But how do you get up there? I think I can hear flapping, but I don't know if it's just, like, general amb- Oh? Oh, you can climb. There's vines. Wait. Oh, there is! There's vines over there. Good eye. Yeah, because it- there was no other way to get it because the bricks ended where you were looking on the other side, so it must be there. Yeah. And lo and behold. No, those aren't vines. Those are just green rocks painted <laughs> yeah. on the wall. Ah, uh, this oh, is gonna look, look like so leaves. good in like 480p on the fucking recording. Just because that's the only way to get this shit to work. Yeah, you gotta like put the CRT monitor effect over it too. Nah, that'd be too much to make things hard to see. Yeah. I've been, like, thinking about doing that when I was first doing editing, but then, like, everything was completely unreadable. It's just too bad. Yeah. It's too gimmicky. It's too gimmicky. Like, leave it for the analog horror. I'll, I'll save it for, like, the end bits and, like, any time we have, like, a fucking Family Guy cutaway bit, but, like, that's it. Gotta keep it in moderation. I can't wait till like, get to leave this, like, fucking hellscape castle. Worst part of the game is this yeah. town. It wouldn't be- oh yeah, I keep forgetting I have a run button. <laughs> it, it took you like three episodes to figure that out. And it took me three episodes to forget it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like the run. game's already running at like three quarters speed. We desperately need to start using the fucking run button. Yeah, we're, we shouldn't be wasting any of our time. Because you're going to cut most of the walking out later. Unless we're funny. Have you been playing any games lately? Um, Minecraft. Playing Minecraft again? Yeah, there's a new big mod pack that came out. Ooh, what is it? What is it? It's actually really good. It's, um, Steampunk. It's been a while since yeah. I've recorded Pretty any modern. Minecraft for this channel. Yeah, it's been a while since we've even played Minecraft. I'm burnt out on Minecraft, though. Me Still? and Kolya spent a day, like, getting banned from, like, seven different servers for, like, oh. fucking saying inane garbage in the chat. Well, that that's barely playing Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were playing Gmod, but we had a lot of trouble, like, getting banned, so we, like, swept up to Minecraft. <laughs> Too many people doing that. <laughs> the Minecraft versions, the Lost Art. Mm. Yeah, it's a it's a really extensive mod pack that's got like fair progression and everything. But yeah, that that uh that Minecraft mod pack has been like the only game I've been playing. It's really hard for me to tell if any of the videos I like edit are actually good or if I just like them because it's like me spending time with my friends whom I love. The videos are fun. They're they're a little dry and like a new like, YouTube entertainment kind of thing. But we're, we're, we're friends hanging out. Yeah. You know? We gotta be chill. I don't want any of that, like, loud fucking garbo shit. I want it not mm. to be cringe. Or I, rather, I want it to videos. be cringe. You, you essentially want to stream, but only, like, upload what you've recorded to YouTube with the bits already edited. Yeah. Like you don't wanna you don't wanna have a clips channel where it gets like edited into a best of with the funny jokes and like cutaways, but 
you also just don't want to stream to the public. Like, you want the, I don't know, you want the energy of a hangout, you want the funny bits, you want to, like, not have the downtime, but you also want to have context for, like, what's happening in the game, I feel. Like, I've done a couple, like, highlight edits that are separate from, like, the actual, like, uh, videos themselves. And those are a little hard to follow around, but they're a lot more Remember watchable. I forgot what he, what I'm even supposed to be doing now that I woke up. Like, uh... I'm reading the text, this is an RPG. Yeah! Oh, he's not there anymore? You can't just... You can't play an RPG. Oh, I have to talk to the blue guy again? Ugh. You can't just not read everything in the JRPG and expect to win. Like, uh, recently, the latest, like, fucking highlights video I made was for, like, me and Aiden's, like, Tome RPG playthrough, just because I would like to have, like, a good recap on that, like, next time I want to, like, start recording that again. Because there is no way I'm not, like, finishing that game eventually. But even though yeah. I, like, did it as a recap, it's just all the funny bits from that. And it is a million times more watchable than the actual, like, Tome playthrough edits. But, when you watch the fucking, like, highlight clipped video, you're missing out on, the, like, the uh, end video bits that I like to do. Yeah, that's just the, like, special treat for someone to watch it at all. Yeah. You don't get the ending gag, unless you watch all the videos. I remember, like, a while back I tried to do a highlight videos for, like, our Voidigo playthrough, but then it just ended up being, like, the first, like, five episodes completely uncut, just because it was just non-stop goofy gags in that one. So I, like, gave up on that edit, but I might come back to it eventually. Got to hear, like, Aiden talk Aww. about his crust, me talk a little bit about, like, fucking Colton back when I was still, like, trying to date Colton. Ugh. But it's cute. Talk a bit about, like, yeah. how much of a goddamn simp Aiden is. Uh, last time I checked, you didn't really have a tendency to simp. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, you can blame that death on me. <laughs> oh my god, that's the funniest fucking sentence that anybody has ever said to me. 